Hey, hello all. I am Kasim Sheikh and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we'll quickly look into how to deploy an ASP.NET MVC web application to Azure Cloud Service. So cloud services were the very first Microsoft Azure platform as a service offering. Uh, they provide an ability to deploy the web apps in the form of web roles and background services as uh, worker roles uh, onto the Azure virtual machines. Uh, right from the initialization of the server, the deployment to the server or any of the window updates and etc. are being taken care by uh, Azure. So if you ask me the key difference uh, between Azure uh, Web Apps and Azure Cloud Services, uh, then uh, the uh, very primary uh, factor would be Cloud Services offers the access to the underlying Azure VMs. Uh, right, like uh, the application which we are going to deploy uh, to the Azure VM, we can access uh, to that Azure VM if it is in a cloud service uh, wherein in Azure web app we cannot access those Azure VMs right uh, so uh, let's quickly start uh, so today uh, like we will be creating an MVC application using a cloud template uh, we'll deploy that uh, application to Azure cloud service using Visual Studio uh, we'll access the underlying uh, Azure virtual machine so let's start with the demo taking time okay so it's working fine great so now let's uh, deploy it to Azure so right click on this solution name or in this project name and click on publish so here you will get four uh, tabs sign in settings diagnostics and summary so uh, sign in will uh, fetch your account uh, you need to have a microsoft azure subscription um, to uh, have this to get this deployed to the cloud so here uh, it's just trying to fetch my subscription so clicking on next it came to settings so there are two settings common and advanced so we need to create an uh, cloud service so let's uh, give it a unique name I know the name is a bit bigger but it's need to be unique so as uh, when we create an uh, application or when we deploy an uh, web application to web app Azure web app uh, mostly the URLs are like the name you gave at dot Azure website dot net but here it would be the name dot cloud app dot net so we need to uh, let's select the region click on create uh, there is advanced settings so it may need and storage account let's go and create it let's give the same name str Let's select the region again. Uh, as the replication would be the same. Let's click on create. So here we are done with this both the settings or uh, the environment would be production. You can select any of this from production or staging or uh, build configuration. Let it be release. So here is our option for enable re remote desktop for all roles. So if at all you uh, click over here, so it will allow you or uh, it will pop up with the window to configure username and password a login credential to access your uh, Azure VM, which has been creating or you can also do it from the Azure portal. So let uh, let's do it from here itself. Uh, let's give a name. Uh, valid password you can change the expiration date uh, by default it's uh, one year or oh, it's not confirmed like this to five uh, so now let's click on ok so click on next so it will add in uh, it will create an uh, application insight for this if it is selected let's uh, keep it as checked 
and select on next so this is the overall summary which we just configured and click on publish so here i will let you know that uh, as compared to the azure web app uh, cloud service uh, takes much more time to get it deployed it uh, it could take uh, uh, at least four to five minutes to deploy an application uh, to uh, the cloud service so let's pause for that some uh, for that time so we can track the deployment here in the activity log window like as you can see it's still saying pending so it is now uh, starting up with uh, the remote desktop certificate uploading those thing then it will create an application inside then it will create a storage account the cloud service account and it will deploy the things everything you can just track over from here it will take at least three to four minutes you can go to our azure portal as of now it's blank okay so see how it started creating so one thing uh, you can uh, notice like uh, there are three things one is one, one was storage uh, one was application inside and the cloud service and but for all the three it created an separate resource group and wherein in azure web app it has it's being mapped to a same huge uh, resource group right but here while creating those things while deploying the things if you click on this resource group you can see it has created in storage resource group uh, wherein it has created the storage account here is our cloud service uh, the sorry the application inside and here is the cloud service so, uh, we can see what the tracking is okay it's still in pending status let's wait you can see it's uh, it has connected to the storage account it's verifying those things it's uploading the package everything step by step is uh, being logged or can be tracked here uh, so now you can see it has created uh, uh, the URL and that is uh, what the name we gave my uh, my MVC uh, on cloud with Carson dot cloud app dot net uh, so now it's completed so you can see the status uh, completed and this is the URL let's click on this it will take few minutes few seconds sorry let's go to our portal and this is our cloud service the site url is over here we can see the configuration of the azure vm which is being deployed from clicking on configuration so it has uh, windows server 2016 os version is automatic okay so these are the web roles and these are the certificates being installed so uh, if you remember i have said like uh, for connecting this vm uh, we can also provide uh, the username and password from the portal so this is a section uh, under settings remote desktop you can uh, just uh, click over here enable it is uh, right now it is enabled because uh, we configure during uh, deploying through visual studio you can change the password from here just uh, change the things and click on save over here so let's see whether the application has started okay it's still running for the first time it take a few minutes few seconds it's very slow compared to azure web apps no doubt so it take it took almost um, 10 minutes to get deployed let's see whether it is load oh great so now our asp.net mvc application is on cloud with cloud service great uh, so now let's try to uh, connect our vm so this is the one right this is a web role and it's showing as running just click it over here and it will give you the section click on connect it will download uh, the rdp file as you can see open it enter the credentials which we provided click on ok yes please connect it welcome to the azure vm which is which got deployed the username of uh, this vm you can see here uh, the name as our our application name so here we are into our vm azure vm 
so I just started the IS through init manager command and here we can see our application which is being deployed so this is where our application or our project been deployed you can see that web role the same name so would recommend to uh, use cloud service only if you need to have or if you want to access or have a control over your azure vm and uh, or it is uh, quite again it's quite costly uh, with a dis deployment perspective perspective uh, as compared to azure web apps so uh, you can just go through all this uh, created resources the insights or the storage and the cloud service as well so hope you have learned something new today uh, would uh, also recommend to have this free trial subscription and to uh, work upon this try to deploy this try to figure it out what what more things uh, you can uh, get uh, into this uh, with this with the help of this service so uh, you are here you can uh, get connect with me uh, to this uh, below social channels uh, you can also mail me at me at the outlook.com so thank you for watching my video and please kindly subscribe to my channel for more such video bye bye happy azure coding